Boy, we've got a good one today. Hey everyone, welcome back to the program. So today I'm doing a different type of video. I am doing a reaction to a video that I saw right here on YouTube where this gentleman is having a conversation with his audience and he's talking about a friend who basically did something on social media that got her fired. And this is something that I have spoken to privately with friends and I think I've spoken a little bit about on my platform about how people just, I don't know, I, and I've said this before, I don't know what kinds of jobs that they have that allow them to make certain pronouncements online, but especially in the aftermath of this election, you've seen people going online and just acting a complete fool, making a complete fool of themselves. Well, now we have evidence or an example of someone who was terminated from their job and you won't even believe how, or some of you might say, yeah, I saw that coming, um, but how this person was fired. By the way, I'm also gonna link this TikToker down below, but you'll also see their handle in the video. Now, this is a reaction video, because some people come on my platform and they go, oh, you talk too much. It's a reaction video. If you don't wanna hear my reaction, just go down below and you will see the link and you can go and listen to it in its entirety uninterrupted. But if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, then stay tuned, so let's go. So my homegirl, called me Wednesday telling me that she's going to make this video and uh, y'all obviously know what the video is about and I told her I strongly advise against it I also advise her like I would tell some of y'all that maybe y'all should take a break off of social media until maybe April sometime right till your emotions go down she said Joe you don't know what you're talking about you're the part of the problem and all this and stuff I said well I encourage you you do what you want to do, but I encourage you to read your employee handbook and also read whatever policies they have regarding social media. I want to stop it right here because I love people like this guy. Did he say his name is Joe? I like people like this guy because this is sound advice that he's giving his friend. But you know, tempers flare, people don't want to listen and they just want to go and spout off at the mouth. And this is how they get in problems. But sound advice so far from this guy. And that's another thing that a lot of people don't do. They don't read their employee handbook. I've been on jobs before because I, what I do, you know, I, I do social media. So I have gone to like my bosses and said, listen, this is what I do. Here is my... Um, my handle, I want you to go and look through these things before, like, especially if you're like starting a new job, go and look through my channel. And if there's an issue, let me know now before, you know, I start this job. And I've, because I, I mean, listen, I have my personality and I certainly have my, you know, things that I say that are critical, but I'm not on here cussing up a storm and carrying on and doing things that I think are going to make my employer embarrassed or get them sued or you know stuff like that um but a lot of people just don't care they will come on here and they'll be cursing up a storm and doing all sorts of illegal things sometimes on on social media and they forget that they have someone to answer to so he's absolutely right check your employee handbook or at least check in with your boss to see if what you are about to do or what you're what you're doing on social media is okay let's go I'll tell you why in a minute so she make the video video hits 100,000 views, right? Views, it was saved and everything else. And I told her, the views don't matter. What matters is what's saved because that's how many people saved that video and downloaded that video. She goes to work Thursday. Boss calls her in, says, hey, come on up. We got to talk. Told her we're going to give you the rest of the day off. We've seen the video. It's concerning and we'll get back with you. So she calls me and I said, um, I asked her, I said, is this the end of a pay period for you? She said, yeah, they're going to let you go. They're going to let you go. No, oh, you don't know they're not. They're just going to, you know, probably give me a suspension. No, based on your job and where you're at, your position, they're going to let you go. So she goes back in Friday. ID card doesn't work. Security come in and say, hey, come with me. Come to security. They had her stuff in boxes. She said, your, your employment has been terminated. She's going hysterical, crying, saying, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything, or blah, blah, blah. Hysterical. And let me tell you something. Do you know who gave them that video? Her co-workers. 
<laughs> the people that she thought was cool with her. The people who was that, that yeah, what she do? So she goes outside. And so now her coworkers are calling her, right? And they all calling. And you know why they calling? Because they want to know. And they say things like this. Oh, what happened, girl? What's up? What happened? Oh, my God. No, we need to do something. We're going to come together. We're going to go talk to them. Y'all not going to do it. They ain't going to do nothing. What they're going to do is they're going to go to their social media account and go delete all the comments they made or anything and make sure that their stuff ain't, ain't whatever. And if they made a video, they're going to delete the video. They ain't going to do nothing because they can't do nothing. And let me tell you why. There's something called the Hatch Act. You need to research it. Go Google it. That a lot of agencies are starting to adapt. And a lot of agencies are starting to adapt um, to this new social media climate and adding the social media social media policies within their organization. But but because you don't read and you don't read the updated policies that they send out or the emails, you don't know that. So then all of a sudden you get cocky and get arrogant and think you won't get caught, think you won't whatever. Then you go out and you want to make this a video to express your disgust or to express whatever you want you want going on. And then guess what happens? Somebody in your organization or your coworkers who you think are your friends and not your competitors, all of a sudden sends that video to them. Now, guess what? Now, that job is gone and your coworker is going to apply for the position. They're not coworkers, they're competitors. Let me stop right there. I'm sorry if you hear anything. I live in D.C., so choppers are always going by, back and forth. Um, but everything that he, he, I mean, this guy, I wish I knew him in real life because so I could just hug him and shake his hand because he is just spitting on this right now. He is spitting. And he's absolutely right. Coworkers are not coworkers. I hate to sound so jaded and cynical and like, 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 you know, like, I don't know, like, like it's a conspiracy theory, like everybody's all out to get you because you, you do have coworkers who end up being excellent friends, but that's not everybody. And I've certainly been in environments where I already saw the okie doke and he is absolutely correct. Everybody will gas you up when you are about to do something stupid. Everybody is like, girl, go do that. Do or, or boy, go boy, do it. And when you get in trouble, they will be on mute, on mute. What did he say? Oh, he, I had to write it down so I didn't forget. He said, a lot of these people are going to save what you have. Every video that you do and you upload to social media, even this video that I'm doing, videos that I've done in the past, someone's saved them. I've reacted to videos that I saved. There was a woman on my channel who, well, who was on TikTok who... Uh, admitted to stealing out of Target. She was unapologetic about it as well, stealing um, alcoholic beverages or whatever out of Target. And I saved that from off of TikTok. No, I didn't save that one from off of TikTok. I didn't save that one. I just remember someone sent that to me. Someone sent that one to me. I've saved stuff from off of TikTok, but someone sent that one to me. It was a viewer of mine said, hey, Rogan, would you consider reacting to this video? That's how I got that video. You see, so I didn't even have to save it. Somebody else saved it for me and sent it to me. So people are saving these things like, hmm, you want to go online and talk about this, that, and the next? You want to expose yourself? Yeah, I'm going to either react to it or send it to somebody else to react to. And I'm like, people are doing, there's a TikToker right now who is, I think she was arrested. I don't remember her name. I don't even know who she is. Um, but she uh, allegedly stole out of Target and wore clothes that she stole stole out of Target um, in her unboxing videos or something like that. Like people are just doing crazy stuff. They're like snitching on themselves. But he's absolutely right. People are saving this stuff. They're going to respond to it. They're going to have it forever. Even when you go and delete it, they're going to have a copy of it. And this is why it's so important for you to be careful about what you're saying online. Um, I'm going to let this play out some more and then I'll, I'll respond. But he's absolutely right. A lot of you allowing social media to get you in places that you don't want to be. There's a lot of people who lose their job over social media. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. And a lot of you allow some of these people, these content creators who have emotional and mental issues, get you into a place where you, you, you want to go do stupid shit. and you want to go do dumb stuff. And that's okay. That's fine. Guess what? There is a legal system that has no problem sitting you down for a minute. If you don't like your lights, if you don't like air conditioning, food, cool. There's an unemployment line for you. One of the two. 
But you need to you need to think before you post that video. You need to think. And a lot of you don't. And a lot of you are losing your jobs and your careers and you're putting your life online because of stuff you want to put on on social media. Because you don't hurt somebody else and support somebody else. These people on social media don't live these lives. And they go in here and you get you getting your emotions and getting your feelings and you think it's okay for you to post it. Or you think it's okay to do certain things on social media, but you don't understand. There's some people who really don't like you. They pretend to like you. And they're called co-workers and friends. And they tell you, yeah, girl, go do it. Yeah, man, go do it. Go do it. I'm telling you not. Because I love you enough to tell you the truth. Let me tell you something. Social media has done a lot of, lot of good, but it has done a whole lot of harm to a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people have ended up in jail. Their families gone. Their houses, houses and everything that they work for gone with just a simple, a simple video. A moment. Of allowing your emotions to get out of control and not controlling your emotion, not mastering your emotions, being completely reckless has caused more harms to people than good. And here's the thing. We're living in times right now. Companies can't afford lawsuits no more. No, they can't afford it. And they're not loyal to you. They never was. You are liability. You are risk. And it's hard. It's a lot harder now for you to get a job to come from something like that. Because they're scared you're going to do it again. Let me tell you a story that was told to me by an executive in a hospital. This lady was a nurse, and I don't know too much of the um, nursing jargon. Listen to this one. Me. This lady was a nurse, and she was going live, and she was on some recovery you know, unit or whatever where people would come out of surgery, and they would be on this recovery board. So one of the, the lights was going off, or I mean, sounds was going off, and one of the machines or whatever. And she was on live and the lady was some people in the comments were like, Hey, you got to go check on that. From what I understand it's because you're a nurse, you have to, even if a wire is missing, even if whatever, you have to go check regardless. Right. She didn't, she turned off the, the sound while she was on live. Someone screen recorded that in the background was her company. And on her license, on her badge, you think because you can, it's blurred. Man, they got technologies all over the place. They can tell, right? From what I understand, the executive, he told me, the man passed away. He passed away. Right? They reviewed the footage. She tried to delete the live. Look, TikTok ain't loyal to you. <laughs> TikTok ain't loyal to you. You think it's deleted, it's not. Right. They looked at the footage of where she was at, found out that she was on live. Let her go. Also criminal charges. Of course. Right. Y'all keep 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 allowing this distractions and your 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 emotions to get to you and your addiction to attention get to you so bad that your entire life will be altered. That's my public service announcement. You've been warned. I I saw this. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, and I think he he has some really good views on this too. I think it's like over 90,000 views. And this is the kind of video I really wish would go viral. Like I would love for him to rack up a million or so plus views because this is a public service announcement that a lot of people need to hear. And everything that he was saying was on point. Um, if that story is indeed correct about the nurse, my goodness, that is a damn travesty. And I certainly, she of course would be fired and of course criminal charges would be filed. Why do you need to even be on live when you are a nurse? What are you, what are you doing? You're supposed to be tending to your, to your, um, to your patients. I've been in the hospital several times after surgeries. And I remember one time, um, coming out of anesthesia, you know, you're starting to wake up and I was trying to call for the nurse and I could hear them over in the corner gossiping. So I could totally, I, I believe that. And, you know, to the point about uh, people, they're just so ca caught up in like likes. I had someone say to me before, you know, if you did this type of content exclusively, like you would be like, like you'd be like the place that like people would want to come and watch. Like you'd be the go-to person. I'm like, that's not the kind of content I'm interested in. I'm not interested in, in, as we say back home, trapsiness. I ain't interested in being trapsy. 
I like to have fun on my platform, yes, but I'm not trying to be trapsy, which is like, trapsy is like messy, like a messy boots person, like you just doing stuff, saying negative stuff. I, at the end of the day, this is YouTube, this isn't my real life, you know what I mean? Like, this is a beautiful thing, a nice outlet, but it's not real life, and I don't want to get caught up. I don't want to get caught up, and too many people get caught up for likes, they get caught up for likes because you, you heard what he said. I think whatever that girl, her video racked up like 100K views. And so people get, you know, that that hype. And then at the end of the day, you lose your job for what? And he didn't explain exactly what it was that she had said on her video. But the context clues were there. He said that he, he felt like people should just kind of like cool their heels until like April next year. And so it made me feel like it was about the election. She might have might not have been happy with the results or I don't know, and gone online and said some stuff. And those same coworkers, because everybody who, this is another saying, every smiling face is not a friend. Every smiling face is not a friend. So people could smile up in your face all day long on your job. And they can hate you. They're waiting for you to make a misstep. They're waiting for you to make a mistake so they can go and report it. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I go on a job, I don't get too friendly with folks. Like I'm friendly, but not too friendly. I always maintain a, a healthy distance. And I only want to know what your handle is on social media, you know. That's the only thing I want to know. And the only reason I want to know is so I can block you. I want to know what they call you. They call you Kiki? Oh, okay, Kiki. Yeah, my handle is... Kiki baby 2024. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Block. I'm blocking bosses. Anybody who is working with me who I feel like might be going through my business, I'm blocking. I don't want y'all in my business. I am not talking my business. And too many people go on their jobs and they, they mistake their co-workers for friends. I'm not talking about, you know, sometimes you make friends after being on a job. Yes. But you don't know the environment. I said this before in an old video. Anytime I see somebody come up to me and say, oh, let me tell you who to watch out for. Watch out. I'm like, don't tell me who to watch out for because the person who's telling you who to watch out for might be the person you need to watch out for. You feel me? So everything that he was saying was gospel to me. And he is so right. I could hear old coworkers too, like how he said that they would be like, oh, we, we need to go and talk to them. And they ain't going to do nothing. They're not doing anything nothing. They're only talking. They're trying to get intel from you to find out how you got fired. And the crazy thing is, you know, these folks who may have gotten fired for that reason, for like posts on social media, a lot of them will go on social media to vent about being fired for this reason. You know, how many times have we seen people recording themselves getting fired or recording themselves calling a boss or, or like, why, why are you doing that? Who's going to hire you when you're doing things like that? So he was spot on. And I hope that his video blows up even more because I feel like this is a message that needs to get out there. People are a little just too comfortable cussing and carrying on, on, on social media and, and talking badly about they're speaking, speaking like parables and stuff like that. Like you don't have to call people's names. You don't have to like, don't do that stuff. I have old coworkers who got fired because someone in our organization went and told on them. Like I would never even get involved in any of that stuff. Unless of course you, you now there's, there's an exception because there's always exceptions to the rule. If you're venting about a boss or anything like that, like I'm, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You, you could talk about bad about me. That don't have nothing to do with me. That have nothing to do with me. Now, let me tell you what has something to do with me. If you on your social media page, and I, for some reason, I don't know how, because I block everybody. But if I see that you talk about coming to work and opening fire, you know what I mean? On everybody. Oh yeah, I'm pimping. I'm pimping, but you talking about the boss and you don't like, that don't have nothing to do with me. Anyway, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this story. Share your own personal stories if you, you so desire. You don't have to call any names or any organizations. Please don't do that. Um, but just share your own experiences because I wish everybody had a friend like this man who would say, don't do that. You don't want to do that. But you have to have the kind of friend who is also willing to listen. Anyway, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Drop comments down below. Share it with your family members and friends. Share it with your friends who are hot tempered and likely to do something that might get them fired. And if you want to support this channel, please go down in the description box. You will see the various ways to support. You can also support by buying me a coffee. I'll put the link on the screen as well as down below in the description box. Or you can scan the QR code that I'm going to put on the screen as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Toodles.